The opinions and interpretations expressed in this and other videos are that of Marty Huey and may not be representative of his colleagues and employer. The videos cover overlapping requirements of codes, standards, and regulations. Your situation will require full analysis beyond the concepts presented here. Stair and stair door. When do they change size? First of all, they can never get smaller in your path of travel. Let's start off by drawing a building of five stories. We're picking five just as a conversational point. So in this building, our occupant load for our different floors, 800 for first floor, 400 for second, 300 for three, four, and five. Also, let's use S for stairs and D for doors. We typically do not need to concern ourselves with the occupant load on the first floor because there is direct access to the outside, not through the stairs or stair doors. If you are exiting the ground floor through your stair stairwell, you will need to pay attention to your stair door widths. So let's start at the top and work down. Our occupant load of 300 times 0.3 equals 90 inches required. Understanding our floor layout with two stairs located in opposite corners. So divide that by two. That means each stair must be a minimum of 45 inches each. With a requirement of 48 inches minimum, we easily meet the requirement at 48. Our door leading to the stair, 300 people occupant load times 0.2 equals 60 inches required divided by two stair doors equals 30 inches each. Minimum requirement, 36, so we're okay also at 36 inches. We're going to show here the stair going down the building at 48 inches down to the second floor. Working our way down to the second floor with an occupant load of 400, 400 times 0.3 equals 120 inches, divide by 2. That means each stair shall be a minimum of 60 inches in width each. Our stair door, 400 times 0.2 equals 80 inches divided by 2. That means each stair door shall be a minimum of 40 inches each, greater than the 36 inches minimum required. And remember, this is the clear width, not the panel size of the door. So graphically, we're going to show the stair increasing in size to 60 inches because we have to have now a 60 inch wide stair. We're allowed, starting at the top, to work down at 48 inches. We do not increase in size at all because it's assumed that the people on four will have left the building by the time the people on five come down and vice versa all the way down the building. The people on three will have left the building by the time four come down, by the time five come down. Our stair width is required to be a minimum of 60 inches because of the calculation. So now let's throw a basement into this with a simple occupant load of 200. When we exit, we exit up and out with our stairs typically being aligned vertically. With an occupant load at the basement of 200, our stair times 0.3 equals 60 inches divided by two stairs equals 30 inches each. With a minimum requirement of 48 inches for a width of our stair, we are in compliance at 48. Now for our doors, 200 times 0.2 equals a minimum of 80 inches total divided by two doors. That equals 20 inches required to exit the people out of the basement. So now these two stairs, one coming from the basement and one coming from above do need to meet and we need to exit the building. So from above, we need a door of 40 inches or greater. And from the basement, we need a door of 20 inches or greater. Will the 20 inches fit inside the 40? Yes, but that's not the way it works. The 400 people and the 200 people will be leaving the building at exactly the same time, at least as understood by the code. So therefore, at this level, at these locations, we'll need a minimum of 60 inches of door width in order to comply with the code. So let's review real quick. A minimum of 48 inches starting at the top because of our occupant load. Our occupant load required the stair to change size, therefore okay, until we reach the ground floor where those people exit. The basement have an occupant load of 200 with a requirement of 30 inches in width. The 48 inches is there for the minimum we are allowed. And when the two meet, we'll require a greater door width. 
Please post or email comments on what you've seen. Suggestions for future topics are also welcome. Marty enjoys learning from the experience of others. More videos will be added, which can be found at MartyHuey.com.